Hello everybody, welcome to another Bear Beer Review. Today we're going to go and return to Scotland for another beer from Brewdog. You know I like Brewdog, I like their punk IPA. And uh, today we're going to go for Jackhammer, the West Coast IPA. Um, so it's going to be Alistair West Coast, loads of tropical fruity flavours. I'm hoping lots of citrus in it. And uh, this one in particular being 7.2% is you know, bordering on Imperial style. And it even says on the side here, or they say I should say, uh, this IPA is bitter, very bitter. Don't say we didn't warn you. So I'm bound to like this. You know I like my um, proper strength IPAs. I've been looking forward to this one ever since I had the Stone Ruination because big bad IPAs are my favorites. Right, let's crack it open and give it a try. Oh, a lot, a lot, a lot of smoke coming off the top there. Trust the old Brewdog glasses while we're at it. And immediately on the pour, you can see it is that wonderful and vivid bright orange apricot colour, which I've come to expect from Brewdog IPAs. They, they really have some great colours in their beers. They, they do seem to get particularly vivid colours. This one must be bottle conditioned because there is a lot of sediment in it. Yeah, there's a lot of sediment in this, whether it's hop sediment or you sediment, one of the two. And um, as I was expecting, the aromas are blasting up it. I'm not sure if you can see there, but the head has almost got a little bit of an orange twinge to it as well. Almost kind of peachy coloured head, um, which I think is pretty cool as well. Uh, like I said, wonderful, wonderful, vivid apricot silk colour. And you might just be able to see some sediment running around inside. Tons and tons and tons of carbonation all the way around the side of the glass. Right, let's get our nose and give it a smell. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's like tangerines and oranges. Oh, and it's just dominated by these big and juicy and wet and dense flavours. These wonderful oranges and tangerines and everything wet and juicy and mangoes. It really does smell absolutely blooming gorgeous, uh, to say the least. So without further ado, we're not going to beat around the bush. This is going to be an extremely hot forward beer. And that's about all we have to say. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's bitter. <laughs> but it's absolutely lovely. I wouldn't expect it any other way, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Uh, there's this nice, strong, solid, biscuity malt flavour. Really, um, it's much more, it's not so much sweet, it's more bread and biscuit kind of flavour malt, but there's a really big wallop from that, kind of akin to a Scotch ale sort of flavour. And then this, this overtake, this, this, this onrush of aggressive, really aggressive bitterness just lashes across your palate, and these juicy hot flavours just swim across, all combined with a really nice and thick mouthfeel and a ton of carbonation, and quite aggressive carbonation, which aids that kind of strip in your mouth. I mean, you even get that. You can tell when a beer is, is so heavily hopped. I get, I, I say it a lot, that, that it feels or it smells or it tastes like you've got hops in your hands and you just squeeze hops into your mouth. And I, I see that as a really good sign of, of a great beer because you can just tell how much hops been put in when you get this kind of, oh, it's like a um, plant kind of flavour to it. I don't know the best way to describe it, but it is if you, it is literally as if you have a dried hop kernel in your hand and you've shoved it in your mouth and you've chewed on it a bit. There are those sort of flavours, these grassy and piney notes, predominantly citrus flavours, uh, but they're so fresh and so unctuous and, and full on. And that's what you're getting through in this beer. It's not good, it's, it's definitely far more hop forward than other beers like the Brunation or like a uh, cannonball that we tried uh, uh, before. This one's got a level of, of of bitterness that exceeds them, and and I know on those reviews I said that they were pretty damn bitter. This this one is is all about the hops, you know, and and I would expect that. So that's the West Coast American style, and that's what this beer is in style of, and it suits it down to tea. Really fits in. It's a really great little niche there. This is uh, this is easily a nine out of ten beer. Um, uh, it's it's stonking juice. It's really nice. I love it. It's so wet and juicy, full of glorious flavours, um, and it, it, you know it, it's all balanced in a certain way as well. So there is just enough uh, residual sweetness, and those kind of biscuit and sort of kind of caramelly flavours. 
combined together in this beer so well that it lets in, it holds it up. Um, they they blended enough of the bitterness with enough of the sweety sweet malty flavours that it's not massively overpowering, but it's still it's gonna it's gonna make you go, whoa, what is that? That's really good, uh, and it is it, it's fantastic. So uh, hats off to Brewdog again, another great beer by them. Uh, I, I I love I like this one a lot. I can see myself getting a lot of jackhammers. I'm not sure if I'm right to say it's only a seasonal slash uh, special sort of brew that they do. I'm not sure if it's in the uh, sorry I should call it the occasional brews. Um, I couldn't say if it's in the core range or not. Uh, I, I really hope it is. This is uh, these proper proper shrimp IPAs are my absolute favourite. Um, favourite style um, so yeah hats off to Brewdog cheers guys tell me what you think if you've tried this fellow you can get it on the website pretty easily uh, and I'm sure you can get it in the bars as well and their bars are great they've got a, such a wonderful selection of, of beers from around the world Mikola and Colonel two beer companies that I love and you've seen me review and I love them um, that they regularly suck in their bars so if you're going on a night out drag your friends around to those they can get a punk IPA uh, and enjoy it and you can go for something really crazy and spend 15 quid on a bottle which is what I often do. Um, so yeah, comment, like, favourite, subscribe, all of the usual things and I shall catch you all again on the next Bear Beer Review. Cheers.